double down. Tell them to line up fast. Don't be captured. You have a gun. Double down. Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, this video is going to feature a whole lot of raw, unadulterated, pure aping on my part. And, uh, you know, that's not typically the way that I play. Um, traditionally, I have really preferred precision-based weapon loadouts. You know, I like to snipe, I like using hand cannons. Uh, even slug shotties, uh, things that require precision in order to be effective. But I gotta admit, man, yesterday I <laughs> I just had so much fun, just completely aping people, uh, and uh, you'll see a lot of a lot of those highlights here in the gameplay today. And it's it's a fun feeling to be able to rack up considerable amounts of kills in a short amount of time, and I think that that's where the the sort of appeal, you know, is for this playstyle. So if if that playstyle doesn't sit right with you, if you absolutely hate it and you think it completely ruined the Crucible, mer, uh, you know what? Some people actually think that. They, they don't like the current meta. They think there's too much uh, aggressive gameplay and it's not really their pace. And I respect it. You know, I think personally, I think the Crucible for Destiny 2 has never been better than it is right now. That's not to say that it's perfect. That's just to say it's never been better. If, if you're catching a drift. But um, some people prefer the other way, and I, I respect that, and that's their opinion, so that's totally fine. So if you don't like this sort of gameplay, uh, I, I don't, I won't be upset if you don't enjoy it. Uh, but just know that the next video that I, I'm currently editing right now is all about precision loadout uh, tips and some a couple of really nice Wii rans with hand cannon sniper that I got. So you may enjoy that. So, anyways, so in this video we're gonna be talking about playing hyper aggressive like this. How to just, you know, straight line, well, not technically straight line, but, you know, you're just kind of holding forward the whole time, lots of activity. Uh, if you're playing hyper-aggressive like this, how can you succeed? You know, I see most people that I see play hyper-aggressive like this, they're just ape with shotguns. Most people I see play like this at the end of the match, they're usually around a one-for-one one in terms of efficiency, you know, 1 1.2, 1.3. So their overall KD is probably pretty close to one, uh, you know, one-for-one. One. Every kill is accompanied by a death because they're just not intelligent about the way that they straight line people i know some people may argue and say that shotgunning takes no skill and that being a good shotgunner is a skillless sort of thing i, I would disagree i think there's actually a pretty high skill ceiling for playing hyper aggressive and i think that that's reflected in a player's efficiency overall most people who play like this would end up around that 1.2, 1.3 efficiency area. You know, one for one in terms of kills and deaths. But um, then there are other players who can be in the fray, who can be surrounded. Their radar can be lit up like a freaking Christmas tree. And they can come out with a 3, 4.0 or higher, uh, you know, pretty consistently. And so how do you do that? How do you go from a, you know, one death for one kill... How do you go from that to having three kills per death, four kills for every one death that you get? How do you do that? Let's talk about that. First thing I'm gonna talk about is you gotta have the right equipment. Um, holy dang, this shotgun that I have, I have never used a shotgun in Destiny 2 I like as much as this thing. This is the Mindbender's Ambition. It is a Nightfall exclusive for the, uh, the Mindbender Strike. When that is offered as a Nightfall option, I would encourage you to uh, do some farming. You know, I got this thing. It's not just that the shot, the shotgun itself is a great shotgun. It's a lot of it has to do with my role. My role is downright ridiculous. I have a whole video dedicated to that role, but just to recap, it has uh, rampage. It has slide shot, which, by the way, that opening you know series of what five six kills that you saw, I had like zero ammo in the in the magazine. I had nothing chambered for most of those kills. But I slid into the kills, and that automatically chambers around, readies it up, and gives me, you know, extra range and whatnot. It's just, it's nasty on this shotty. Absolutely nasty. I could just slide into every engagement and know that if I have any ammo in reserves, the gun's going to go off, you know? And then I get Rampage stacked up times three in some of those these gunfights that you'll see. I get three stacks, and I'm completely mapping people. It's absolutely insane. And uh, it's got accurized rounds. It's got full choke on it. And on top of that... I threw on an Icarus mod, and you'll see some nasty jump shots. 
that put people down in one shot in this gameplay. It's just utterly ridiculous. I love this thing. So, um, anyways, let's talk about aping. Let's talk about being hyper aggressive and being successful. Part of it is your equipment. I've got some pretty solid equipment as you just found out about. One thing I will tell you is you got to get used to judging radar uh, distance because a lot of times you'll be waiting to, you know, come sprinting around the corner until you can, you know, basically make a good assumption about the radar and say, okay, this guy that's around the corner, uh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Okay. Now he's probably within 20 feet, you know, maybe, maybe 10 meters. Now's the good time for me to slide out. If I do it too early, he's going to backpedal me and I'm going to take a shot with my shotgun and I'm not going to do enough damage, and he's going to gun me down with his primary, whatever it is that he has, because I choked my shot and misjudged the distance. So you can't peek too early. you got to judge radar distance and make an educated decision about when to push out, and uh, you know, hopefully you do it at the right time when they are within striking distance of a shotgun or a sidearm, and then you don't screw it up, right? Another thing is directional change mid-fight. This is huge, absolutely huge. Uh, some people will just run in a straight line. And it's really easy to kill them because they're running in a straight line. <laughs> Don't do that. Directional change is super, super important. Even if you're on a Warlock or a Titan, you can still serpentine. You can still change directions. This is actually super easy to do on PC. This is one of the things that I love the most about playing this game on PC. When I do play on PC with a mouse, the directional changes that you can get are instantaneous. I mean, you can do a jump. and You can sprint and jump in one direction. As soon as your feet hit the ground, you're sprinting in the opposite direction. No problem. Or sliding in the opposite direction. Uh, directional changes are really, really, really easy on PC. A little bit more tricky on console. Uh, you can't move quite as uh, quickly. You can't change your direction quite as quickly on uh, Titans and Warlocks. But you can still Serpentine. I do a lot of that. Or jumping. Uh, you know, I peek with my feet on the ground. And then I break line of sight. And then I jump around the corner. Right? So it's a, it's a bit of a change from what they're expecting. You know, the last time they saw you, your feet were planted. And now they're not. Super easy stuff like that. Um, hunters tend to be the best shotgunners which is reflected in comp right now on console um, this may not this is not necessarily the case on PC but it is the case on console if you think um, if you would disagree I mean you're, you're welcome to have a different opinion but I, I believe very firmly I don't main a hunter but I play a lot of hunter and I believe very firmly that there is just nothing that can shotgun as effectively as a hunter because of all the directional change options they have between shade step directional jump um, you know, and then everything else that the other subclasses have. So you just, you get more mobility options to couple with shotgunning up close with a hunter. Uh, in addition to that, you have things like invis and true sight at your fingertips as well. So the directional change is really, really important no matter what class you're playing. Uh, Re-engaging at different elevations. Okay, I mentioned this briefly. Break line of sight, right? You break line of sight and then you re-engage. Disengaging is not running away. Disengaging from a fight, you could be still within 10 feet of someone and technically disengage from the firefight because you're breaking line of sight with a pillar with some piece of cover of, of any kind. See, I'm still really close and then I jump right back uh, over the guy's head. So I disengage and then I re-engage at a different elevation and he went directly underneath me. He got completely finessed. He lost me entirely. All because I broke line of sight and then I re-engaged at a different elevation. You can start high and go low, start low, go high. It doesn't really matter. Just mix it up so it's not easily predictable so that you don't tell them where to place their next shot, right? They've got to react to you, not sort of guess where you're going to be and guess right, if that makes sense. Jumping over their heads is a really important thing to do when people, when you're up close and personal, I jump over, <laughs> you got you to gotta do this a lot with Titans because a lot of times they've got the shoulder charge up jump over their heads, screw up the shoulder charge, get them caught in an animation with their pants down, and then you punish them for it. So you got to predict when those shoulder charges are coming too. You can jump over those heads. I do this quite, quite frequently. So hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay, guys. I hope some of these tips are you know, somewhat useful for you. I know this is just, <laughs> it's just pure unadulterated aping, and it is what it is. Uh, lots of 100 gameplay in these past couple of videos. The next one I'm working on is a uh, precision loadout tips video which features a, uh, well, it features exclusively Warlock gameplay, a lot of uh, the new Stormcaller skill tree. So, yeah, which I'm having fun with. It's, 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 a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so more content coming your way. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, what you've seen so far. I'm looking forward to putting more out for you. Be warm and well-fed, my friends. Hope to catch you in the Crucible.